practice together before. Today we're going to be focusing on melting away stress and tension by linking movement and breath, opening up the shoulders which can get hunched up really high when we're tense, uh, and also working to boost our natural immunity um, through our practice. So some useful props that you might like to go and grab, maybe a beach towel or a yoga block if you've got those. If you don't have them handy already, put me on pause, go and grab your props and we'll get started in a moment. We'll begin today in an upright seat. You can always pop yourself up onto your block to elevate the hips. Maybe a little bit of release through the spine so that when you come into stillness, you're feeling nice and comfortable on your block. Have the hands resting somewhere on the tops of the legs. That just helps the shoulders to relax. And then closing down the eyes or maybe softening the gaze. Let's start with a deep, full inhale and a big releasing sigh out through the mouth. We'll do that one more time. Deep inhale. Just spend a few rounds noticing the way your breath is moving, the way it's traveling, noticing the different characteristics of your breath. The pace, the depth, the rhythm. No right or wrong. Just observing. bringing your intention to front of mind now. Let's inhale to seal this intention and exhale to send it out to the universe. Inhale for a 
around and on. This one's really more about how it feels and rather than how it 
we will stretch the right leg out toward the side, stay in a tabletop position with the rest of the body and the hands. We will all together stretch up for a cat pose and then on the exhale, scooping in for cow. One more time, stretch up for cat and then curl in. Sorry, I got my cat and cow mixed up there. This is cat. And then from here, we're going to come all the way up into a preparation for gate pose, stretching the fingertips up overhead. Use an exhale to side bend over towards your right foot. Take a breath into the left side of the ribs. And then on the exhale, we're going to circle the top arm down and around, coming into a modified side plank. So have a big stretch out all the way from the tip of your foot right up to the fingertips. Last breath. And then wind all the way back down. We'll bring the right hand up for a twist. Inhale, look up to the hand. Exhale, right hand down. And then go the other way. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, left arm down. Sweeping right arm knee back underneath your hips and we'll do the same thing on the other side so gently sweeping the left leg out to the side this time we'll stretch the eyes up start with cow pose exhale curl in one more time inhale cow pose and as you come into cat tuck the chin engage the core and we're going all the way up preparing for gate pose big breath Use the exhale to side bend over towards the straight leg. Breath into the right side of the ribs, really expanding the intercostal muscles. And then on the exhale, sweeping the top arm down and forward. Big stretch all the way through the left side of the body. Last breath. And then winding your way back down. Time for some twisting. Inhale, left hand up. Exhale down, inhale, right hand up, so look up to the hand if you can, as long as that doesn't hurt your neck, and then exhale down, gently sweeping the left leg back in underneath, one last cat and cow, so stretch the eyes up, and then curling, arching the other back, good, and then back into a neutral spine position. Um, from here, we're going to tuck the toes under. Let's make our way up to our first downward facing dog. So pushing down through the hands, making sure there's those big V's in between each finger, tucking the toes and then coming into your downward facing dog position. Once you're in your downward facing dog, have a little pedal out, have a little stretch out. Release any tension. You might have a little wiggle of the hips, nod and shake of the head. Good, and then coming into stillness. We're going to inhale to rise up high onto the toes, and then using the exhale, stretching the heels back towards the earth. Let's do that one more time. Inhale high onto toes, exhale, stretching the heels back towards the earth. Inhale, high onto toes the last time. Exhale, stretching the heels back towards the earth. Good. Take a big, deep breath in. Press the mat away with the hands. And then with your exhale, bring a little softness to the knees and we're going to walk the hands back towards the feet. So just hanging here in a ragdoll position. You can keep a nice, generous bend in the knees. That'll protect the lower back and the hamstrings. Keep the strain out of there. Maybe a little sway side to side. You might catch hold of opposite elbows. And then releasing the hands underneath the shoulders. We're going to bring the hands to the backs of the heels. Let the head release. And then trace your hands up the back seam of your legs, interlinking the hands behind the back. You could keep your hands on your lower back if that's enough um, opening for your shoulders. If you want a little more, lifting the hands off the lower back. And then maybe just gently bending one leg and straightening out the other. Just a gentle rock side to side. 
Feel your tail, maybe a little squeeze of the shoulder blades. One more, each knee. And then releasing back into stillness. We'll bring the hands back onto the lower back and then tracing down the back seam of the legs. Bringing the hands back underneath the shoulders. Three rounds of Adhutanasana, so the half lift. On the inhale, we lengthen the crown of the head forward, lengthen the spine. On the exhale, fold forward. Two more like that. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Last one, lift and lengthen out. On the exhale, gently fold forward. Good, we'll walk the hands back out into downward facing dog. Take a breath. And from here, taking as many steps as you need and keeping your knees Generously bent if you need, we'll gently make our way up to the top of the mat. One more half lift here, so you can have your hands on your shins, on your block or on your mat. On your exhale, fold forward. We're going to be active down through the feet as we slowly roll up to standing to salute the sun. Look up to your hands if that doesn't hurt your neck. And then on the exhale, draw the palms back down through the midline, fold forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees deeply, plant the hands flat on the mat. We'll step back for our first plank. Right foot first, followed by the left foot. So just setting up this plank position. We're pressing down through the hands. There's a dome of the upper back. And the gaze is just ahead of the top edge of the mat. Take one more breath. And then with your exhale, we'll come through a modified flow. Lowering knees down onto the mat. Elbows tucked to the side waist. And we come all the way down onto the belly. Good. Keep the hands alongside the ribcage. The glutes stay active as we use the back body. And the inhale to lift. And then on the exhale, lower down. One more time, low cobra position. Inhale, back body strengthens you up. Exhale, gently lower down. We're tucking the toes under, pushing down through the hands, and let's come back through child's pose. Take a breath here. Feel the length through the spine. And then push down through the hands, tuck the toes, come back to downward facing dog. So that's your modified vinyasa, taking that version anytime you need to our class. Moving on. We'll bring the big toes to touch at the back of the mat. Inhale, bend the knees, set the gaze forward. And then with your exhale, a walk, a step, or a little hop up to the top of the mat. Take a half lift at the top. Exhale, bow forward, and then push down through the feet, roll vertebrae by vertebrae to standing, saluting the sun. Exhale, hands through the midline, folding back down. Knees can stay soft and bent if you need. Lengthen out, half lift. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, have the left foot step back first this time, followed by the right foot. So your choice from here, if you'd like to continue to lower to the knees and take a low cobra for your transition, you're welcome. Otherwise, we're shifting the body weight forward. Coming down to Chaturanga, just halfway. Inhale to come into your back bend, upward facing dog. And then pushing down through the hands, engaging the core, rolling over the toes, downward. Take three breaths. Working on lengthening the spine rather than getting the heels back toward the earth. Ears alongside the tops of the arms, the head is released. Gaze back towards the toes. There's a little wrapping of the triceps under. We 
the next inhale we'll lift the right leg to the sky let's come into three-legged dog and have a little circle out for the right ankle come back into stillness big deep breaths and then we'll use an exhale to gently step the right foot between the hands come to runner's lunge and once you're feeling steady we'll gently lower the back knee down so if you have any sensitivity in your knees, this is where you could use your towel. From here, we're going to bring the forehead toward the top of the knee. And take an inhale here. Exhale, push down through your right foot and your knee to roll all the way up into a low lunge position. From here, bending the elbows, make a cactus shape with the arms. And just taking little circles backwards with the elbows. Next, inhale, send the hands up and overhead, and then with the exhale, hands out at shoulder height. Inhale to interlink the hands behind the back, and then on the exhale, opening the heart, lifting the heart to the sky. Last breath like this, and then use the exhale to bow down. You can bring the forehead towards your knee or maybe the right shoulder on the inside of the right knee. Modified humble lunge. Last breath. And then gently lowering the hands down around the front foot and then walking the hand on the hands back up into an upright position. We're going to bring the hands back up and over the head and link the thumbs together. So if you can't see that, I'm making like a little butterfly position. Take a breath in, and then with the exhale, we're going to side bend over toward the front leg, so over to the right. Breathing to the left side rib cage. And then with your exhale, touch palms together. We're going to stay upright in a twist if that's best for you, for your prayer twist. Or maybe looking the left elbow over the right knee for a little bit of a deeper twist. We'll stay here for a breath. And then with the next inhale, lifting the belly off the thighs, right hand down in front of the right foot or on the inside of the right foot, left hand to the sky. So an open belly twist. Inhale, bring the left hand to the lower back and the right hand to the sky. So like a little half camel position. One more breath. And then the left hand meets the right hand up over the head, hands down around the front foot. And we'll step back and take a flow from there. Just remember, anytime you need to skip the flow, not a problem at all. Child's pose or straight back to downward dog. Otherwise, we're shifting the body weight forward, lowering down halfway. Inhale upward, exhale down. Take a breath. Same thing on the other side. Left leg lifts, three legged. Have a little circle out for the ankles. Maybe one way and then the other. Come back to stillness. And then use an exhale to gently step the left foot between the hands. So start off in runner's lunge, get the feet onto train tracks. And then gently lowering the back knee down. So you can use the beach towel under the knee if you need. The forehead. And the knee connected, your hands are getting that deep flexion through the spine, little scoop of the belly in. Take a breath. And then squeezing your glutes, rolling up through the spine, hands up overhead. Bend the elbows, make that cactus shape with the arms. We'll take a little roll forward this time. Just helping to release the tension through the shoulders and open the front of the chest. Good, sending the hands up and overhead, and then out of shoulder height. Swap the interlink of the fingers this time. Open the heart, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Use an exhale to bow the left shoulder on the inside of the left knee, or maybe the head connects down with the knee. Just come to where it feels really comfortable for you. One more breath. And then releasing the hands down around the front foot. Maybe you can roll up with control or using your hands on your front leg to support the back of the body. Hands back up, 
Swap the link of the thumb, so the opposite butterfly grip. And then we side bend, lateral flex. Breathe into the right side of the ribs. And then touching palms together, we're going into that prayer twist. Stay upright if that's best for your body or hooking right over over the left knee. Maybe gazing over the left shoulder. A breath also here. And then with the inhale, lifting the belly up off the thigh, the left hand on the inside of the left foot, right hand to the sky. If it doesn't hurt your neck, you can look up toward your hand. You can even create a little bit of resistance between your arm and your leg for a bit of hip opening left side too. Last breath. And then we're bringing the right hand to the lower back, the left hand to the sky for that half camel position. One more round of breath. Opening the heart. And then use the exhale to come back into a neutral spine position. Bottom hand meets the top, the top hand overhead. And then hands down around the front foot. Stepping back, taking your flow, skipping your flow. Make the vinyasa your own. We'll meet back in downward facing dog. Take a breath there. With the next inhale, lift the right leg to the sky. And this time we're going to bend the top knee, step over the knee. Keep pressure down through the right hand just to stop the right shoulder from peeling open. Give that right foot a bit of a squeeze. Take another breath. And then use an exhale to draw the right knee over to the left elbow. So you're crossing the midline of the body. Good. Inhale, we come back to three-legged dog. Right leg to the sky. And then on the exhale, knee in toward the nose, gaze forward, and we'll step the right foot between the hands. So this time we'll come to runner's lunge. Keep the feet on train tracks, and then press down as you roll up into a high lunge position. Good. So we'll leave out the rolls this time in the cactus shape, but we'll take the cactus arms and maybe bend the back knee. So dipping down, opening the heart, hands back up, hands out at shoulder height, interlink the hands behind the body. Inhale, just stretch the eyes up, open the heart, and then on the exhale, Right shoulder on the inside of the right knee, or maybe your forehead down to your right knee. Stay here for one more round of breath. Good, and then gently lower the hands down around the front foot. Hands back onto the leg to support you into an upright position. Palms tucked up overhead, link the thumbs, and we'll side bend over towards the right, so towards the front leg. And this time, touching the palms together, moving into your prayer twist. You can still um, choose not to bind, or maybe binding left elbow over the right knee. If you want something a little more, you could even look ahead of the front foot and maybe edge the back toes up off the mat. So just adding in a little balance. Stay for one more breath. If you lifted the back leg up, just gently, gently tapping back down and then lifting the belly off the thighs, right hand down, left hand up. So it's an open belly twist. We're trying to keep the hips squared down toward the mat. Get all that twist through the spine. Last breath. Gently bend the knees, left hand to the lower back, right hand to the sky for a nap bend. And this time we're going to bring the palms to touch and come in for a few rounds of Skandasana. So you can move side to side, staying up quite high. If you've got more availability through the hips, hello, you can come down a little lower. Maybe you're supporting the hands, supporting with the hands, maybe the hands are at the heart. One more breath. And then the next time, the right knee bends, turn back to the top of the mat. Bring the left hand down, which we'll bring right hand up for an easy twist. So repeat that easy twist, or if you feel like it, maybe Cleopatra. So getting into the hips a little bit, dipping the hips down, 
a little bit of extra strength for that front arm. And then we'll bring right hand back down. Let's take a flow from here. Pushing down through the hands, engaging the core, tucking the chin, right knee in towards the nose. And then we're back into plank position. Lowering down halfway, chaturanga, or all the way down onto the belly so you can take a tummy back down. Move the way that works for you to come back to downward dog. Maybe through child's pose. And let them take a stretch out, take a breath. And we'll do that on the other side. Left leg lifts, three legged. Lots of pressure down through the left hand as you peel, stack, and open the left leg. One more breath here. Then we're taking left knee over to the right elbow. Inhale to open up three legged dog. Exhale, gently stepping the left foot between the hands. So starting right as lunge, the back heel is high and off the mat, and then we're pushing down through the feet to bring the hands up over here. Touch the palms together. It's that cactus shape. Maybe you're dipping the back knee. Breathe in. And then breathe out. Bring hands out at shoulder height. Swap the grip of the hands. Squeeze that right glute to get opening in the front of the hip flexor. Big inhale. And then on the exhale, dipping down. Humble lunge. So the inverting here. Supporting our immunity by getting the heart above the head, gently lowering the hands down around the front foot, and it's a great idea to support the back body by walking the hands back up the leg. Palms touch up over the head, and then we link the thumbs the opposite way, side bend over to the left, stretch and open the right side of the rib cage. And then palms touch together, move around into the prayer twist. Breath in, and then breath out, maybe you're binding. Good. If you did so on the other side and you want to go for that balance, it really helps to set the gaze ahead of the front foot, and then edging the back toes up and off the mat. Give the right foot a big squeeze. Last breath. Gently touch down, unravel, lift the belly off the thighs, left hand down, right hand up, but we stay square through the hips. Really challenges the balance, this one. Good. And then soft knees as you scoop your way up your back hand, back bend, right hand to the lower back, left hand to the sky. Breathe. Return to a neutral spine position. Palms touch at the heart, and let's go for some Skandhasana. So just bending one knee, straightening out the other leg. And you can stay as high as you like, or you can melt in as low as you like. So supporting with the hands, hovering the hands, you can really do whatever you like. You might even have the arms out. You could do some twists as you move side to side. Just stay with your breath. Good, next time the left knee bends, we'll turn back up to the top of the mat. Right hand down, left hand up. So just a gentle, easy twist to start off with. Left hand back down. Another easy twist if that's best for you, or maybe Cleopatra this time. So dipping the hips down, gazing back towards the back of your tips. Hands back down around the front foot, and let's take a flow from here. Gently stepping back, come into your plank position, and then the vinyasa of your choice. Lowering down halfway, and then pressing up for the back bend of your choice. Tuck the chin, scoop the belly, downward facing. Three well-deserved breaths here. 
So with this one, I like to practice this without putting too much weight in the crown of my head. You could even use your towel underneath to support, just for a bit of extra padding and softness. Um, and to move into this position, we bring the hands onto the heels, tuck the chin so you're getting that really um, big double chin underneath. And then we really try to bring the crown of the head all the way down. We need to lift the hips up off the heels. And if you're super flexy through your spine, maybe the forehead touches your knees. And we're just resting here. Not too much weight down through the crown of the head is my recommendation. And just breathing here. Another mild inversion. Turning things upside down, helping to support our lymphatic system, which is so closely linked to our immunity. And the lymphatic system. 
system, of course, doesn't have a pump the way the cardiovascular system does. So movement and breath help to move lymph around the body back to the nodes for cleansing. Forward folds like this, of course, really calming, soothing for the nervous system, helping to melt away stress and tension. Last breath. And then releasing the hands from the heels, great idea just to use the support of the hands to release you back up into an upright position. Good, and just sit with that for a breath or so. Close the eyes. Notice what comes up for you. Thank you. 
with Happy Baby, so finishing off by turning things upside down. Uh, we'll bring soles of the feet up towards the sky. Then you can catch hold of outside edges of the feet. We're drawing the knees in towards the armpits. So just making any kind of movement that your body craves here. It might be a little bit of a rock and roll side to side. Maybe a straightening out of one leg and bending the other knee deeply so you're getting that juicy flexion in your hips. Whatever feels good. When you had enough, take the time to extend the legs out in front. Maybe now you could bring your head onto your towel for a bit of extra padding. Oh, so comfortable. Um, and then extending the legs out or finding your comfortable Shavasana position. You're more than welcome to keep the knees bent here or even Shavasana in constructive rest. Have the arms alongside the body. Traditionally, we have the palms facing up and just relaxing the fingers, allowing the fingers to curl in toward the palms. The ankles a little bit greater than hip width apart. Feet flopping out to the sides. And then just taking a final body scan. Search out anywhere that you are holding residual tension, strain that the rest of the practice hasn't gotten to. Send some awareness, send some breath into those spots and let all of that go. We take a final breath in together through the nose.
communication with one 